You can also perform various terrain analysis functions in QGIS without using any of the plugins. These are given in your terrain analysis, raster terrain analysis tools. You can, for example, calculate aspects, a hill shade, which is a visual um, estimation tool. It isn't actually a quantitative analysis tool. You can create relief and the ruggedness index and the slope. So the tools that you have here aren't necessarily, necessarily coincident with those in ArcMap, but the main ones are in fact present. For example, if I would like to create aspect on my IDW one using an exact factor of one, of course you need to also write a file or you can just leave it as a temporary layer. What you will get out is a raster surface in degrees. So it ranges from, in this case, 0 0.008 to 360, again calculated from north, which is 0, or 360, all the way around, going clockwise to 360. So what you would have to do now is to actually symbolize these classes, or reclassify the raster into a visual representation of north, south, east, west, and so forth. Another thing you can do in terrain analysis is slope. So again, you have the input as the elevation raster that you have created. The Z factor again can be kept as one. And you, in this case, just write a temporary file. If you then run it and you add it to your raster, you can see that the steepest slope in this case is 16.75 degrees. And that the most gentle slope, the darkest values, are 0 0.002. So you can see already that in terms of the visual output, QGIS is slightly different to ArcMap. ArcMap already pre-formats the output for the user to make it visually more appealing. However, the underlying algorithm that runs the tool is not necessarily so much different. Now, QGIS also has a couple of other things that you can do. Now, Hillshade is, of course, a predefined tool in ArcMap as well. Again, it requires the input layer, the input elevation layer. Here, the azimuth an angle is actually 300 by default, and the zenith is 40. Now, the default in ArcMap is 315 for the azimuth and 45 for the zenith. So that's what we're going to do here too, just for comparison purposes. And that will give you that 3D elevation um, output file that you have for this, this particular area. You can also create the ruggedness index, which is another tool, also based on your surface input layer, elevation layer, and your um, hypsometric curves as well. And of course you can create relief as well. So the tools that you have in your terrain analysis toolbox are not quite the same as you would have an arc map. What QGIS also has is that you can have quite an advanced analysis function available through GRASS or GDAL. So there are more functions available to you, for example, aspect, all the different types of grill um, interpolation methods here, hill shade, roughness, slope, terrain ruggedness, and so forth for GDAL and DeGrasse has the same, but these are different plugins, so to actually apply these you have to implement different uh, steps as well. But a lot of the terrain analysis you can do in QGIS as is, without having to install any other plugin, and the concept behind it obviously applies to any kind of GIS, slope is based on the direction of, or the steepness of where water will flow, uh, when comparing a kernel or a window, aspect looks uses a similar algorithm, so a focal operation to determine um, the direction or the bearing of a cell based on the surrounding cells. You can create a hill shade for visual analysis purposes and any of those terrain analysis methods that you would actually be interested in.